All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Growing Guitar. We have Jordan Ward here featuring Black. This one is called Mustard. So a nice song, a little bit odd, different. We love that to spice it up sometimes. So we have pretty much one main part here of this song and what I think is called perhaps the verse or so, if we stick to the main uh, labels here. And uh, at a couple times we have a different part that we could call a chorus. I'm not sure. I'm gonna mention what I mean. But first, let's go over some kinds of grips here. Um, I can just mention them because we're gonna work with picking patterns here, not your usual chord and strumming like that. But anyway, it's about grips here. So I'm gonna mention a couple of them. First, we need to start with the capo set on the first fret. All right, so capo on first. With that, we have a much easier life than without. So um, invest in one capo if you haven't yet. And yeah, put it on the first fret. Let's go with the first one. Some kind of a C major chord here, C major seven. Okay, so you hold third fret on A string and second fret on the D string. That's a good start for the song, all right? And then you have something that's based upon a G major chord, G major seven, I believe it is. And you can start with this position. We'll go from there. And that is third fret on the E string and fourth fret on the D string. All right. So that's a good start for the verse play. And then we have this position here a B-ish chord, that's a second on A and a second on the G. That's a good start for the chorus play. And then we have E minor, and that is just to hold this one, third fret on B string with the open E string. I'm gonna go into that more later, but this is the E minor grip, so to speak. And then we have the uh, C major coming back there. All right, so we already looked at that. That is pretty much uh, what we're gonna work with uh, to just have a brief um, backbone to everything, what you do here. And then of course we'll pick more than just these grips. Now let's take a look at the main part here in the verse play. Okay, so I mentioned you can hold the C major like this. That's a good start for this uh, verse play. So you're gonna play this part first. Okay. So I suggest that you hold, like I do, your ring finger on the third fret A string and your middle finger on the second fret D string. All right, and then you're gonna play third A, second D, open B, then back to third A. And then you're gonna add the third fret on B string. I do that with my little pinky here. That's why I have this ready down here. So third B, then open B, then second D, and back to open B. Okay, so that is the start here of the C major. So third A, Second D, open B, third A, third B, open B, second D, and open B. Then we we'll go over to the G major here. And I can just mention that this verse play here is C major, G, 
then C and G again, all right? Because uh, we have a different ending there on the Gs. The Zs uh, are staying in the same way, but the G is uh, alternating there in the ending over two rounds. So the first start here of the G is to hold, like I said here, was the third fret on the E string and fourth fret on D. So it goes the first ending like this, all right? So that is to play third E, then fourth D, then open B, then back to third E, then you play third D, all right? So you replace the fourth now and go over to third, then open B, then back to third E, and third D. Okay, so that is the first round of the G major there, the first ending. So again, I'm gonna uh, repeat everything, third E, fourth D, open B, then third E, third D, open B, third E, and third D. So the G major is all right. Then you go back and play the second round there, the C major in the same way. So and now we're looking at the second and final round of the G. It's very similar. You start in the same position there, third E and fourth D. You're gonna play that first. So third E, fourth D, open B, and then you go third E, third D, and open B. And then you have a longer pause, and that's the second ending. So this second round, the second G, is played in the same way, just except for the last two notes. So the same, same notes there, but you have just a pause instead of playing the last two notes you played in the first round. So that's the difference there. So very similar here, two rounds, but anyway, a little bit difference with the pause there and ending. I'm gonna give you one full round. That means two rounds of a C major and G goes like this. So there you have the main part of the song. Now, at 1 minute and 13 seconds into the song, but also 2 minutes and 38 seconds into the song, you have something that changes a little bit. Uh, I can call it a chorus. Uh, you listen to it and you understand where we are. This part goes like this. You play that for two rounds, and then you do this for two rounds. two rounds all right so the first part was so you're gonna play second fret a string open D and second G that's kind of the B grip I showed you and then you're gonna go to the E minor grip and you're gonna play this so that is Open E in the bass, open G, and third D, B, sorry, that's a D note, the third B string. So open E, open G, and third B. And then you have the final C major grip there, and you're just gonna play third A, second D, and open B. And then you have a pause after that, and then they go for another round again. So two rounds of that, slowly goes. 
pause, and then again. And pause. And then you come into the final parts here. You're gonna go up high up here on the seventh fret E string in the bass, together with fifth uh, fret on the E string top note. So, pick those two together. Then you slide up here to this position and play the open E string in the bass to get with second fret uh, E string top note. And then you go to this grip, play third A together with third B. You have a pause there as well. And then you play the same again. And then pause again. And then you play this, and that is 3rd fret on A string together with 2nd fret E string. And pause again. So that is the ending of that part, and you're gonna play it for 2 rounds. So. So that is the chorus part played at 1 minute and 13 and 2 minutes 38 uh, into this song. And that pretty much gives you all the tools you need to handle Jordan Wards and Black's Mustard. Cool song, a little bit different, I love that. So give it a try guys and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you did, please let me know, thumb up, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Until next time, play tuned.